Around Christmas time, a lot of people put up Christmas trees. Some people refuse to do that because they say that it is a pagan symbol. And there's some, some reason for that. Trees were pagan symbols. What's interesting is that the Christmas tree has become a symbol that Christians have claimed. Uh, in the church, we have this character called Boniface. And Boniface is trying to address these uh, Germanic cultures of his day. And so he actually chops down this huge oak tree that they would use to worship Thor. And he turns the wood into a church. And he actually points to a fir tree, a pine tree. And he says, this is a better symbol of who God is. God is eternal, everlasting, and he's loving to us. So however you feel about Christmas trees, what's interesting is that that picture of Jesus as a tree starts in the Old Testament. Isaiah 11, a shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse and from his roots a branch will bear fruit. Jeremiah 23, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, a king who will reign wisely and do what is right and just in the land. Now, you might think that this is just an Old Testament picture, but Jesus actually claims this for himself. In Revelation, he says, I, Jesus, I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright morning star. So let's break that down. Stump of Jesse, what does that mean? Well, Jesse was the father of David. So a shoot coming out of the stump means new life, or it's another way of saying offspring. So David is the shoot from Jesse. Jesus, by extension, is the shoot coming from David, coming from the stump of Jesse. Now, why is it a stump? Well, this tree is always a picture of Israel, too. And so the reason it's a stump is that it was cut off. We see that in the Old Testament, right? Israel does not obey God, and so they are cut off and dispersed. The shoot is a symbol of new life that God is bringing out of the old. So Jesus is the shoot coming up out of the stump of Jesse. What's interesting is that Jeremiah connects this to kingship. We've already read, a righteous branch, a king will, who will reign wisely. In other words, Jesus is a Messiah who will be wise, just, and do what is right for the people. And he will give them his shalom, his wholeness, his peace. Now, in this Old Testament context, you might think that this was only for the Jews. Well, some of the Jews actually thought that too. But Jesus as the branch is good news for all of us. Paul tells us this in Romans 15 when he says, Quoting Isaiah, the root of Jesse will spring up, one who will arise to rule over the nations, and in him the Gentiles will hope. So in case you're wondering if this Gentile, Gentile thing was a, a new idea, no. This also goes back to Isaiah in, again, chapter 11. In that day, the root of Jesse will stand as a banner for the peoples. The nations will rally to him and his resting place will be glorious. So the plan has always been for the Gentiles to be brought in, to be grafted in, as Paul says in Romans, to the tree that is Israel. And it extends to Jesus too. Paul tells us in Romans that if the root, that's Jesus, is holy, so are the branches that are grafted in. So if Jesus is holy, we are called to be holy too. So two thoughts. Around Christmas especially, Jesus coming as the new little branch, a baby, means that we can be part of the family of God too. We Gentiles can be a part of the family of God. Secondly, we are called to seek God, to dwell with God, to abide with God. Jesus came to be with us. We are called to abide in him. This season, I love the carol, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. It says, O come to us, abide with us, our Lord, Emmanuel. Come to us, abide with us, as we abide in you, God. Because he is the tree.